Hey everybody, it's the Midnight Show with Tony Trujillo. Tony, of course. I'm by myself tonight on this one, so what I would like to talk about is some good things that have happened since I haven't done a video, which would be graduated from high school, of course. So the trolls are probably not a big deal, but you know, shit, I made it. Um I've seen a lot of good movies. I'm not probably talking about movies right now, but let's get into it anyways. I saw The Amazing Spider-Man. It was amazing. Better than that crap we saw as kids. Uh, Savages was amazing. I bought my tickets for The Dark Knight Rises. Definitely going to see that. Well, I saw Ted. That was very funny. I've been pretty impressed with movies lately. Um, I finally got to see, uh, what is it called? Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. That was pretty cool. I liked it. Even though I don't really like vampires, but that was cool. Let's see, I saw Prometheus, it was amazing too, I freaking love that movie, it was just, I don't know, people complained, but I loved it. And in movie news, um, Hollywood was talking about confirming that they're going to do a Forrest Gump sequel with Tom Hanks and Gary Sinise. Uh, supposedly, supposedly Christopher Nolan's supposed to direct, which is kind of weird because he's known for directing action horror movies and thrillers but this would be like his first drama so I wonder how that'll go I'm excited for that enough with movies uh, let's talk a little more entertainment I would like to talk about how some of you may have heard of this or millions of you may have heard of this on Twitter about how Tosh Daniel Tosh was doing a stand-up show at a what was it, I think it was Laugh Factory or something like that with um a bunch of other comedians, and right after Dan Cookie comes on, and he's doing his thing, and then I guess he did a joke that was pointed towards one of the girls in the crowd, lady, woman, about her being raped by like five different guys. I mean, that was just part of the joke. I'm not really going to get into that part. But supposedly she got offended, and she walked up and left. And she started writing about it on her blog or Tumblr or whatever, and then a little bit later... Tosh goes on Twitter to talk about how he wants to apologize, and so I guess he did apologize to the girl. I don't know if he did it directly or over the internet. I didn't get into that yet, but I I think it's kind of amazing because everybody gets offended by comedians, and to me it's just kind of funny that it's that easy to get offended over a joke like that. Yes, I know some people don't find rape funny or the, the way of joking at it, but see, Tosh always finds a way to find the negative and turn it into a positive. That's a comedian's job. They try to make you laugh by things that aren't funny. And they do it. But the fact that he apologized shows you really like, a lot in him. It shows that he's more than just a comedian, you know. He's got a human side to him instead of a dickhead side. So I like the fact that he apologized to her. I mean, that was a great thing to do. But what's not okay is the fact that he pulled the joke and kept going when the girl left. So yeah, I mean, that was a little fucked up on many levels, but still, it's it's a stand-up show, like, what do you expect? I mean, everyone's gonna get offended, like, how many people did not get offended by Carlos Mencia? Like, you know, everyone gets offended at one point, but the way I look at it is if you are very, very easily offended, don't go to a comedy show, don't watch Comedy Central, don't do that. But I love Tosh, I love Tosh.0, awesome. He's a funny guy, and now I do have respect for him for apologizing the way he did. That was really awesome thing to do. But again, that it's kind of a dumb controversy. But um, enough with that. <laughs> Let's see, what do I really want to talk about right now? Um, my life has been so weird lately. I know a lot of the, the class I graduated with, I know they're feeling the same way. There's so much crap that has to be put up with, like somewhere between graduating and. Oh, Tony, can you run that bar out of the right here? Did you eat it? Did you eat it? No. I didn't eat, but, whoa, I was tired. I didn't eat any bar. Sorry, What? No, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. Can you go away for a second? Say hi, yeah. Hi, hi. I was talking to just doing a, a web show with, with like, our car week kind of. Like ridiculousness, just not as gay. Can I be on it? No, probably not. Maybe no. later. Come on, That's a weird question. Say it again. Can I make your own video later? Yeah, sorry, I thought you said <laughs> something else. All right, uh, peace out. Cool. Hope you pass.
technical difficulties. Pieces! Pieces! Can you go now, please? Okay. Okay. So, like I was saying before, I got interrupted. Um, I have to deal with going to college and putting up with like crap's really annoying, especially because I don't want to go. But apparently, to the world, that's not an option. Whatever. Like, if I had a decision, I would be a cartel leader because I know I'd just be the beast. Uh, yeah, that's a bad future to want to invest in. What do you, can you go around? <laughs> hey, Dylan, can you please, like, for like five seconds? I'm experiencing technical difficulties. Can you get an action on time for this? Sorry about this, my viewers. I'm gonna have to cancel this because my brother won't be making the show. Anyways, um, okay, we're good. Never mind. Yeah, oh, text message. Wow, that was a waste of my time. But um, yeah, I guess I lost track of what I was gonna say. But anyways, stay tuned for another episode. I can't even remember what episode number this is, so. That's my bad. This is more of an exclusive, but I still like to call it an episode. Just the shortest one I've done. In other news, me and Grayson Herger are working on a, uh, a Halloween kind of a reboot remake for Facebook, like a Facebook mini series. So check into my page, The Daily Hollywood. If you're my Facebook friend, you'll see it. If you're in the public, you'll see it. If you want to join The Daily Hollywood, click an ad. It's that easy. And you can be part of it. Anyways, thank you for. That scared me. Thank you for watching and um, go back to doing what you're doing because this show is over.